Welcome to Golfing the World, where today we are at Pine Hills Golf Club in Plymouth, Massachusetts. I can't believe I've never been here before, and I've heard so much about it, and there's a lot to hear about because they have two championship 18-hole golf courses here, a Nicholas design course and a Reese Jones design course. I've heard amazing things about both of them, and we're gonna check them both out today, right now on Golfing the World. A lot of people coming down from the city, driving down first thing in the morning, playing an early tee time. Uh, so really, they're coming from all over the place to play here. As soon as you pull up here to Pine Hills Golf Club, you know you're gonna be in for a special day. It's gorgeous all the way in. You've got the beautiful clubhouse. Immediately, you're greeted by people who are treating you like a member at a private club. Even if you're just here for a day, or here for an outing, or here with your buddies, Included in your green fee, unlimited range balls. They've got a beautiful practice green, bunkers for you to practice out of, and you're liable to need the practice because there's plenty of bunkers out there on the course waiting for you. There's a lot of buddy trips. Guys going down to the Cape, coming down this way, groups of 12 or 16 people coming to play. Uh, they'll come and play 36 in a day, or play 18 one day, 18 the other. Uh, so it's definitely all of New England that people are coming from. The Reese Jones course here at Pine Hills is phenomenal. A lot of elevation changes, beautiful greens. Let me tell you something, it's challenging without being unfair. So mid to high handicappers can come out here and play. Yeah, challenging is the word I would use here, John, because it seems like the green is way off in the distance. What's the yardage here? Uh, it's about 400 yards from right here. And it's all of 400 yards. Okay, show me the way. Nice ball, John. The eighth and ninth holes, back to back. I hit one of my best tee shots of the day and I wasn't in any way punished for it. And that's the way a good golf course should set up. You hit a good shot, you get good results, and it's never unfair, it's just a great time. So John, help me out here. I'll, uh, I'll take a read from you if you got one. That's what I'm talking about. Great ball, John. Way to get out of that. It's about time you found a bunker today. You've been nothing but fairways and greens. It's too easy for you. The man's got a chance to make birdie after being in a fairway bunker. Unbelievable. John, you want a tip? You want me to give you a read? What do you want? I think I got it. Oh, oh. Lone Wolf McQuaid, okay. Get in the hole! Wow. You know what? You are a wolf pack of one. That's what you are. I'm impressed. Wow. What a hole. Hardy, it's really our signature hole on the property. 15 Jones, par five, force carry, elevated tee, second hole, up, second shot uphill all the way. It's a beautiful golf hole. Good shot. You know, on the Reese Jones course, there's the 15th hole, the long par five, and it looks unfair standing from the tee box. But the whole point of this golf course is it is challenging, but never unfair. Jones course is, is characterized by what huge sweeping bunkers, both fairway and green side. Uh, if, you can, if you can avoid them, you can score there. Nice drive, Hardy. Now make sure you keep it left and avoid that cavernous bunker on the right. You don't want to go there. Don't even say the words cavernous bunker, just left. So the Reese Jones course here at Pine Hills is phenomenal. A lot of elevation changes, challenging without being unfair. So a, a mid to high handicapper can come out here and play and enjoy themselves. Not that I would understand the experience of a mid to high handicapper. <clears throat> Reese Jones course, it's leaving me Jones to play more. <laughs> Jones and, okay. John, it's the 15th hole here on the Nicholas course. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is all carry. It's all carry, about 160 yards from where we're playing from. Uh, green is very wide, not very deep. Make sure you get the right club and uh, you'll get home little collection area off to the left? There is, you definitely want to favor the left side. You have a chance to get up and down if you're off to the left. It's a pretty easy uh, chip shot from over there. Good, I, I may use that. I'm just saying, it, it's a possibility. 
Oh, be right. Oh, it's got to be right. It's got to be the one. Oh, great shot, Hardy. For the second A team, we hit the Nicholas course, and man, did I hit the seven iron of my life on the 15th hole, all carry, par three, stuck it to about 12 feet. It's just one of those perfect shots on a perfect day, on the perfect hole, at the perfect time. Party! <laughs> nice birdie! Way to go! As soon as it left the putter face, I thought I'd missed it. But then it went in anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> Always good to get a deuce. That's right, you like that? If you're living in Boston or you're visiting Boston, you can make it to Pine Hills easily. They got, they got their own exit off the highway. And once you get here, everything's laid out perfectly. Two championship 18-hole courses. You're not going to be disappointed. Yes, you know, our slogan is come be a member for a day. Two great courses to choose from, great practice facilities, service, you know, exceptional service across the board. So come, enjoy the day, you know, and, and pay for one day at a time. Hardy, it's been a great day here, 36 holes. Finishing up here on the 18th hole in Nicholas, of course. Strong par four into the wind to finish. Uh, keep it left of the bunkers and you'll be all set. Easy. All right, Hardy, let's end the day on a good note here. Let's make this par putt. If you got it. Nice! <laughs> Great roll. Way to go. Thanks, John. A nice way to finish the round. Really, a great way to finish the second round of the day at Pine Hills Golf Club. It's a daily fee facility and it's open to the public, but there's a reason why so many people want to have their outings here and big groups come to play. And just buddies taking a golf trip here. It's a special place. Mirbeau, uh, were you walking into France for the uh, for the weekend, the French the French countryside? Mirbeau opened. Uh, there's 57 boutique rooms. Um, different. There's suites. There's rooms. They offer a stay and play package here. We're in conjunction with them. You can come for the weekend, and we can book your advanced tea times. Uh, 15,000 square foot spa. So if one of you um, doesn't like to golf, you can certainly spend the day relaxing, enjoying the spa, the bistro, and then they have a five-star dining, uh, Henri Marie. So if you're thinking about an outing, I don't know of a better place to do that. You can play both courses, play the Jones in the morning, stop here, have a cold beer, something off of our grills, and then play the Nicholas, um, relax after. Just stay for the day, feel like you're a member for the day. We can custom design any outing for any size group. What a fabulous time here at Pine Hills Golf Club in Plymouth. I tell you, between the two courses, we've got Reese Jones, we've got the Nicholas course. I'm particularly fond of the Nicholas course, especially the 15th hole, the par three. And it's not because I stuck it to 12 feet and made the par. It's because it's a gorgeous golf course. They've got a great practice facility. We just had a fantastic meal. And everybody here gets treated like a member. Member for a day, I want to be a member for life. Pine Hills Golf Club in Plymouth, Mass. Two great courses, one great day, all here on Golf in the World.